very good morning children today let's learn max in the first chapter last class we learned about numbers up to 200 number names and the numbers which comes after a given number before a given number so now open your textbook and take page number 3 in that page you have exercises that we have learned already you can do that exercise as homework. Turn to page number 4 and 5. That also you can do as your homework. So today we are going to learn a new topic that is expanded form. What is expanded form? We can expand the numbers. We can write numbers in terms of ones, tens, hundreds. That is we are expanding the numbers. Here you can see the number 12. It is a two digit number. How we are counting it? We will count two ones and one tens. We write it as one tens and two ones. One tens we write it as 10 plus 2 equal to 12. This is how we write in the expanded form. Second example 46. 6 comes in the ones place. 4 comes in the tens place. So we can write it as 4 tens and 6 ones. We count always from the right side that is from the ones place. But when we write, we write it from the left side. So here 4 tens makes 40 plus 6 ones makes 6 and the number we get 46. 58. Here it is 8 ones, 5 tens. We write 5 tens and 8 ones. 5 tens means 50 plus 8 ones, that is 8 itself. So we get 58. Let's move on to a 3 digit number. We know 124 is a 3 digit number. So let's count ones, tens, hundred. And how, how can we write this? 100, 2 tens and 4 ones. So 100 becomes 100 because there is only 100 in that. Plus 2 tens is 20. Plus 4 ones is 4. So the number becomes 124. This is the way how we write in an expanded form. 112. In this we can see 2 comes in the 1's place, 1 in the 10's place and this one in the 100's place. So we can write it as 100, 1, 10 and 2 1's. That makes 100 plus 10 plus 2 equal to 112. Let's see now 148. How many 100's are there in 148? There is only this comes is the hundreds position. So there is only 100 in that position. 4 tens 8 ones. We write it as 100 4 tens and 8 ones. This 100 is written as 100 plus 4 tens is 40 plus 8 ones is 8 and we get the number 148. So this is how we write in the expanded form. Hope you understood the expanded form. Now let's move on to the place value. What is a place value? Every digit in a number has a place value. Place value is the value of the digit. So it changes according to the position of the digit. For example, the number 59 is a two digit number. Here there is nine ones and five tens. So this nine comes in the nines position, ones position. This nine comes in the ones position. Five comes in the tens position. So we can say five tens and nine ones. Here number 68 is again a two digit number. 
we can count ones tens so eight ones six tens what is the place value of six it is comes in the tens position and six tens makes sixty next example thirty six it is again a two digit number so how can we count it from the right side so which place ones tens six comes the ones position and three comes in the tens position so what is the place value of six six comes in the ones position and here three comes in the tens position so this is the place value here let's see the place value the number 25 is again a two digit number 5 comes under ones place 2 comes under tens place so we write the place value of 2 is 20 place value of 5 is 5 the place value of 2 is in the tens position the position of 2 here is in the tens position so we write as 20 the place value of 5 comes in the ones position so we write 5 next 48 8 comes in the ones position and 4 comes in the tens position so place value of 4 is 40 because there are 4 tens in that 4 tens makes 40 and 8 ones makes 8 Let's move on to the three digit number. The number is 112. Let's check the place value from the right side. 2 comes in the 1's position, 1 comes in the 10's position and this 1 comes in the 100's position. The number 180. Again 0 we will start from the right side that is 0, 1s, 8, 10s, 100s, 0, 1s, 8, 10s, 100s. So this is how we check the place value of a digit. Now let us check the number 156. In the number 156, the place value of 1 is in the hundreds place so we can say it as 100 place value of 5 5 comes in the tens position so 5 tens makes 50 place value of 6 it comes in the ones position place value of 6 is 6 this is how we check the place value place value of 138 8 is in the 1's position, 3 is in the 10's position, 1 is in the 100's position. So always we check from the right side, 1's, 10's, 100's. So the place value of 1 is 100, that is 100, there is only 100 in that place, so it is 100 place value of 3 is comes in the tens place 3 tens make 30 place value of 8 is 8 so the number is 138 now let's find out the place value in the number 114 we have to find out the place value of 4 we can check ones tens 100 so 4 comes in the ones place this one comes in the tens place and this one comes in the hundreds place so we have to find out the place value of 4 so we can write it as 4 because it comes in the ones place next number 128 and we have to find out the place value of 2 here here it is 8 ones 2 tens 
one hundreds. So we have to find out the place value of two. It is two tens. So the number place value is twenty. So here the place value of two is twenty. In this number, we have to find out the place value of one in one hundred and forty-two. Ones, tens, hundreds. So, what is the place value in the of one in one hundred and forty-two? It is one hundred. So, hope you understood the place value. How to find out the place value of a given number? Next, we are moving to the face value. Face value of a digit is the number itself. For example, here the number twelve. We have to find out the face value of two. The face value of two is two itself. Here in the number forty-three, the face value of four is four itself. That is the number itself. Let's check next number one hundred and twelve. It's a three-digit number. So in this, we have to find out the face value of one. What is it? It is One itself, so the face value is the digit itself. One hundred and eighty-six, the number eight. We have to find out the face value. So face value of eight is eight itself. In the number one hundred and ninety-eight, the face value of nine is nine itself. So hope you understood what all was taught today. The expanded form. place value and face value you can again open your text we'll move on to the exercises page number 8 so hope you all took the text let's read the question write the expanded form of the following numbers one has been done for you the first one 149 it's expanded 100 plus 4 tens plus 9 ones equal to 100 plus 40 plus 9 like this you can do the rest of the exercises let's move on to the second question write the place value of each circled digit in the following numbers one has been done for you the first one 196 we have to find out the place value so in this number we have to find out the place value of 9 so what is the place value of 9 9 comes in the tens position so it is 90 let's do b 183 we have to find out the place value of 8 8 comes in the tens position so it is 80 you can write down 80 in that box like that you can do the rest of the exercises let's move on to the third question fill in the blanks in that let's read the a in 194 the place value of 9 is the face value of 9 is we have to find out the place value and the face value in this question so we have to find out in the number 194 first the place value check the place value it comes in the tens position so place value of 9 is 90 and the face value remains the same that is 9 So right in the first box the place value of 9 is 90 write down 90 there and in the next box the face value of 9 is 9 the next box you can write 9 there are four more questions you can complete it after completing it take a snap and send it to our whatsapp so that's all for today hope you understood what was taught today Thank you.